Hi friends, I'm doing audit for the last 20 years and in that more than 90% of the companies where I've done audit, they don't understand the graphical interpretation of mean and range chart for MS study. So by the time this video and you will understand what exactly is the meaning of this mean and range chart, why you are making it, what is the purpose, how to read these graphs and what kind of conclusion we can take once we go through this chart. Well, in general, when we take interviews and we find someone very talkative, someone very smart and intelligent, we think that that person may be a fit for the company. But when that person joins the company, then we realize that maybe there are certain competence issues, maybe the technical part is not there, or maybe certain things which are expected for that job is not there. But maybe at the time of interview, we find something very smart and intelligence in that person, and then we select that person. But then we realize it, that it is wrong later on. Something similar happened with respect to the MS study where we are doing a graphical interpretation with respect to mean and range. Often people think that in the control limits, if in the mean chart everything is within the control limit, it means everything is okay. But in MS study, that is wrong. To start with, first of all, when we talk about the variation, there are two kinds of variation. The first is the process variation and there is a measurement variation. When we talk about the measurement variation, again, we can subdivide into two parts. One is with respect to accuracy and second is with respect to the precision. When we talk about accuracy, primarily we are talking about bias, stability and linearity. But when we are talking about precision, we are talking about repeatability and reproducibility. So once we take the readings and you know that when we take readings, we have to take three appraises, we have to give them 10 parts and they have to take readings three points and then we get the data with respect to mean and range. One thing which is very important while doing the graphical interpretation is that there should not be any special cause. In case there is a special cause, first of all, we have to remove that and then we have to start that particular graphical study. Then second important part is that First, we have to see the range chart and then later on we see the mean chart. So in the range chart, the lower control limit is always zero. And when we plot the upper control limit, it's very important for all the three appraises, all the points should be within the control limits. In case even one point is out of the control limit, in case then it means there is some error, there is some error in the person that who is measuring that measurement. Then another important thing is that in case you find that all the three appraises of some point or other outside the control limit in the range chart, it means there is some issue with respect to the way in which you are doing the measurement or maybe there is some problem in the measurement system itself, which may be a one year or micrometer. We need to understand and see what can be done with respect to that. Sometimes that we must have seen that when we are doing the measurement with the for the hardness test on the rubber, then when we are putting that hardness test, maybe the way in which we are pressing, the way we are putting the angle, that can create a difference when we are taking different readings. Now coming to the mean chart. Now in mean chart, there is an upper control limit and there is a lower control limit. Unlike the SPC study where the intent is that all the points should be within the control limit. Here the requirement is more than 50% of the points should go below or above the control limits. If it is happening, that particular mean chart is considered to be good. But why? That's a very important question to understand. Because when we are doing the measurement, we need to see that whether our measurement system is capable of detecting the variation in the process or not. Say for example, if the process variation is 0.1 and the least count of our measuring instrument, which is a vernier or a micrometer is also 0.1, whether that measurement system will be able to detect the variation? The answer is no. So it's very important that when we are selecting the measurement system, the least count should be at least 0.01. So that's why it's very important that when we have the right measurement system, at least 50% of the points will fall beyond the control limit. And if it is falling beyond the control limit, it means that our measurement system is sensitive to find out all the variation in the process. But in case we find that for one appraiser or two appraiser or three appraiser, all the points are within that, then it means there is something wrong either with that appraiser or maybe the measurement system that we are using that is not fit for that particular purpose. So if I do a summary, I talked about two charts, mean and range chart. In range chart, 
all the points should be within the control limits and in mean chart minimum 50 percent or more than that should be outside the control limit because when they are outside the control limit that reflects that our measurement system is capable of measuring or identifying the variation which is there in the entire process. My next video will again be in the same series of MSA where I am going to talk about the key difference between stability and linearity. Regularly, I am getting a lot of feedback from your side and they are helping me to understand your expectations. So, please continue that. And in case you are liking these kind of videos and blogs, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and my website bhavimangla.com. And in case you want to understand a little bit more about this particular video, you will find a link below. If you click that, you will find a blog there. And there you find this information in much more detail. Thank you.